Hey, 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 Aquarius, this is your sacred scribe here ready to do your reading. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is going to be a reading for my Aquas, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Aquarius, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. Oops. And um, don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys. Hit the notification bell. If you are interested in a private reading, link is in the description box below. Make sure you're clicking on that link if you are interested, as there are tarot card impersonators running about the community. And know that you'll always see my face in a reading if you order one from me, as well as receive. Wow a unlisted link that you can utilize forever. Aquarius, you have the Six of Cups, the King of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. And the word I'm getting is balance. You're obtaining balance here through a very focused way, they're saying. Okay, so I feel like you're looking back on past loves. You're also looking back on your stability, like almost like the story of your life. That's what I'm getting. Like where you started off money-wise, right? When you were younger how far you've come, the challenges that you've had, what you've overcame, what you overcame in love and in money and business work. It could also be children. You're thinking about your children or yourself as a child. And it's like you're, you're rewriting your life by reliving it in this way, but you're finding balance as you go forward. Very interesting. So six of swords, that's that peace. So I feel like, you know, you've been feeling this turbulence within this, this inner struggle and, it, and it's many things. It's not just one area of life. So you decide to be focused, like, I need to get balanced. I don't want to be here any longer. It's like you make that decision. You may be literally moving as well. Page of Cups. I'm also getting you're no longer feeling sorry for yourself. Yeah, Nine of Wands, you're understanding your guard. You're understanding the walls that you've put up over the years. Sagittarius energy. I feel like what may spur this on, actually, is an apology from somebody. And this is somebody from your past. And it gets you thinking. It's like this timing is purposeful. This, was, this is supposed to happen, this apology. Because it kickstarts this message of concern. Hmm. So I feel like this may be somebody that you had a falling out with and you get a message and you're like, oh, but it's you feel like it's concerning, but it's not. This is the apology. And this is what kickstarts your balance, your, your healing, which leads to balance. Tell me about the King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Wow. You're, you're reclaiming your power. You could also have a fire energy coming in. Knight of Cups. Yeah. Somebody's making an offer here. Could be fire or earth. Not sure, but I feel like you're more of the King of Pentacles here. Yeah, Ace of Cups. So this is new love. And I feel it's because you obtain this balance, you open a doorway. It's like you clear a path. Where, where there was clutter on a path, 
you clear it through this healing. Get a kipper on this. Poverty. You're no longer feeling this lack mentality. You're feeling abundant. You're feeling calm. I'm getting this with the King of Pentacles. This is a new journey. Now, poverty, right? It's a 37, which is a 10. 10 is all about beginnings and endings. It's an end to that lack mentality because you begin to understand why it existed in the first place, right? So you're, you're leaving the victim mentality and you're opening your heart to abundance. And this is what brings in the love. Tell me about the six of wands. This is you overcoming this. You've waited a long time for this with the hangman. Pisces energy. You, you're, you're going to be looking at your life through all perspectives here. And you're going to be shedding light on a lot. Five of Cups. Looking back. Right? Regrets. Sadness. But now you're looking and pulling the positive from these instances, these experiences, in order to gain insight, in order to expand, in order to con you know, continue on and find your balance. Knight of Wands and King of Swords. You're cutting out what no longer serves you and you're pushing forward. You're finding that child within and you're really pulling out that energetic spark. Like, I'd, I'd call you Sparky right now. Because that's what you're going to be. You're going to be this spark plug. You're going to be fire. Expectation. I feel like you have a new lease on life here. And you're going to see the world through different eyes. You're going to see your life through different eyes. Which is very cool. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. This is this love relationship here. Six of Pentacles. Ooh, is there two? You may have two. Maybe that's why the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands here? Death. All right. So you're going to have a choice between two. But I don't feel like this is going to be... Oh, wait a minute. Why did I accidentally pick up a card? Yeah. I don't feel like this is going to be a difficult decision for you. I think you know pretty quickly. Five of Swords. You're going to have some jealous people around you. So be aware of that. Four of Pentacles. So you're going to let go of this other person. I, if it's the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands, I feel like you're, you're going with the Queen of Wands and you're getting rid of the King of Pentacles. That's what I feel. But you're going to know pretty quickly. I don't feel you hang on to two people for that long. Can I have one more in this row here, this second row? Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. So this is when you these two people come into your life and you begin to invest time and energy in each. Uh, in a fair way, I'm getting. And this makes your decision easier. And that's that peaceful place I'm feeling for you. You You go through this and you're not in a frenzy. Not at all. Bad health. family room okay you may get word of somebody in your family having a health issue toil and labor I don't think that's anything to be worried about but I'll get a card on this can I get the bad health what's going on the fool okay so whatever this health thing is i feel like this person is going to take a chance on it's a you know what i'm feeling it's almost like there's a, a experimental drug for whatever is ailing them or whatever and they're going to be like yeah i'll take it and it's going to work for them i don't they're not being specific as to what this health is i don't like giving health um you know, messages, but this is what they're saying. If it resonates, if it doesn't resonate, you know, take what resonates and what doesn't because it is general. Okay. So let's get advice for you. I feel like you're going to put a lot of work into this relationship and into yourself and finding peace. Yeah. 
So they're like, keep at it, keep at it, keep finding that balance, maintain that balance, okay? Okay. Eight of Swords, be careful about getting too much in your head, okay? You want to remain centered, bring it down to your heart, set yourself free. If you find yourself just going over and over and over about some instance in your mind as you go throughout your life, you've got to break it, you've got to cut it, okay? Advice for Aquarius, intuition, absolutely. Allow the limitless power of your unconscious mind to answer your problem by using symbols, memories, and hunches. Talk to your unconscious. Ask your unconscious questions as you go through your life. Okay? And you figure this out. I'm going to get an angel number message for my aquas. Beautiful reading. You can't make this shit up. Aquarius 20. I am harmonious. That's that peace. <laughs> they just said, peace be with you. That's funny. They're showing me church. You know, peace be with you. You relate to others on an almost cosmic level. You are dedicated to building harmonious relationships of all kinds. You have the ability to persuade others to your point of view by using gentle means. And that's your energy. This is the energy that you're coming into. I even feel like you're going to be of help to this person that in your in your family um, that may come down with something. I don't know. Um, I feel like your peaceful presence is going to have a positive impact on them. So do go visit them. Like, do go visit them wherever they are. Okay. All right, Aquarius, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Please use that link in the description box if you are interested, as there are many tarot card impersonators and scammers running around the community. And know that you will always see my face on video in a reading if you order one, as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever on YouTube. Don't forget to comment as well. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fabulous day, Aquarius, and I'll catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.